What is love? Generally not a question you'll hear on a YouTube channel for game dev. Uh, but that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to the very first optional component of the game development for complete beginners series. And today we're going to just take a little bit of more in depth look at what love actually is. Uh, Lua is pretty straightforward. It's a programming language. We get that. We understand. But love is a little bit more confusing, uh, as is in real life, I suppose. Uh, love is the easiest way to think about it is love's a game engine for creating 2D games, but there's a bit more to it than that. And we're going to jump in and look at what love is. Now, again, this is completely optional. If you've gone through the tutorial, the rest of the stuff that's in there will totally and utterly make sense in time. This is a lot of details you don't specifically need to know, but if you want to learn a little bit more about what's going on, the history behind it, what's going behind the scenes, etc., stay tuned because that's what we're going to cover today. So love is L-O-V-E with the O with an omelet, omelet, uh, basically the two dots above the L, which was a very poor choice in names and makes it almost impossible to search for. So then generally, if you're using Google, you're searching for Love 2D, not for Love. And that's an unfortunate name choice that they've gone with, but that's how things work out. So also at the same time, that Love 2D is also the name of their website. So Love is available on love2d.org. Um, it is available under the Zlib license. Now the Zlib license is great. One of the friendliest licenses that's out there. Basically what it means is it is free as in freedom and free as in beer. You can do just about whatever the hell you want with a Zlib product, except you can't change it. Um, so basically, if you make changes to it, you can't say, oh, Love 2D is mine, and then sell it as your own. Um, if you alter it, you do need to mark that you have made alterations accordingly, and you cannot remove the license from the product. Other than that, have at it. So it's a very liberal license. Um, so you can essentially think of Love as free. And everybody likes free. I like free. You like free. So that's definitely a nice thing. Now, in terms of the technical parts of what Love is, Love is... Um, as I said, a game engine, but it makes available a number of things for us. You can see them down the side by the documentation, the, the modules, the top level stuff that support it. You can see there it provides functionality for audio, game events, file system, fonts, the joystick support, physics, sound, timers, etc. So all the stuff that go together to make a 2D game, Love provides that. But on top of that, it does it in such a way, Love is essentially a um, host for the Lua programming language. And this is one of those things that can get a little confusing. Lua itself is a standalone programming language. It's a scripting language or an interpreted language, but it's designed to be embedded in other programs. And that's exactly what, what uh, Love does, is it's got a copy of Lua inside of it. And it extends Lua with all of this functionality. It gives it all of these different classes, etc., available. So it's still the Lua programming language, but it's being run inside of the Love executable. And I'll show you what that actually means in action. So here is a typical love hello world program. And what this is, is this is a function that's going to be called by love when it starts up. And it's going to just basically draw print screen, print onto the screen the world's hello world at 100 pixels by 100 pixels from the top left corner. Very straightforward, very simple, very normal um, entry level type program to be done. Now there's a couple of magic things being done here. First off, this file is named main.lua and it's being saved in a directory. Let me just go find said directory. Uh, hello. So here you see I have a folder with the function, with the, the file main.lua inside of it. And I'll go ahead and run this guy. We just go love and then hello. And that script is now run inside of the love executable. So love is sort of a program and a game engine all at once. And what that thing does, love provides, is a version of Lua for your Lua code to run inside of. Now Lua itself had a bit of a language issue going on. If you go to the Lua webpage, uh, you'll see that there's versions 5.3 is the newest version. However, 5.1 was the last everybody was happy version. And then things have happened since. Now 5.2 is pretty popular, 5.1 is the most popular, and 5.3 is the least popular. It was a little bit of a a design decision. They went to 64-bit and they did it in such a way that wasn't overwhelmingly popular. So a lot of people are stuck at the 5.1 level. Now 5.2 on the other hand added something called Unicode support. Now Unicode is used to provide um, internationalization. So you can do text in Unicode 
regardless of where you've come from. So kanji character sets, ASCII character sets, etc., all work in Unicode, which is obviously very nice if you're making your game for multiple markets. So that's a nice want to have feature. So what um, at the heart of love is they've used a version of Lua that's kind of 5.2. So if you're looking at functionality and you're looking at the documentation or whatever, all of 5.1 is supported for sure. Parts of 5.2 are supported for the most part, 5.3 is supported, not at all. So be aware of that when you're looking at other material or other documentation about Lua, that's the version that's embedded in Love. In fact, Love uses a special version called Lua JIT. Uh, J-I-T stands for just in time. It's an optimization trick. And what Lua JIT is, is a kind of a customish version of 5.2-ish. And it is the fastest implementation of Lua available. And that is the version that is embedded inside of the Love program that in turn runs your game. So nutshell version, Love is a combination of a game engine and an executable for running your Lua game scripts. Um, and of course, it's a bunch of modules and libraries and documentation, etc., all about making 2D games. Now, we'll cover the details of Love in a lot more detail coming up, so don't worry about that specifically. Just if you wanted a little bit more understanding of the technical bits of what Love was actually doing, that's what this is about. Now, one final thing that you probably want to be aware of is the history. Now, Love is very mature. Love has been around since 2008. And the most recent release, as of what I'm talking right now, is 10.1 or 0.10.1. And don't let that zero mislead you. This is, uh, what are we talking now? Five years old? No, no, seven years old. This is a mature product, very much capable of creating just about any 2D game you want. Now, uh, 0.1 like the, the point 10 release though, added something very important. And that is iOS and Android support. So you can now run your mobile game. You can love, run your love games on mobile devices, which is really cool. Now, another thing, last thing I want to mention before we move on to the series proper is the way that love is run. So what we saw back here where I ran love by passing in a directory full of script files, you don't have to do that. There are ways to bundle together your scripts, love itself, everything all together into a single executable so that you can send it to a friend and they can just double click and go. So don't let this put you off. This is just while you are developing, there's ways to bundle this up and make it more of a cohesive package. So essentially that is love. It is the combination of a program and a game engine and it is going to be our best friend going forward. Hope you enjoy it. See you soon.